Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by and checking out the card pile. Today in the card pile, we're going to rummage through and uh, go over some of the football cards recently that I've picked up. And uh, a lot of them come from my friend Joe Runkle and his girlfriend. They used to belong to his father and they uh, decided to pass them on to me, which is really cool. And I appreciate that, Joe. And I can't remember your girlfriend's name, but thank her too for me. Okay, now the first one I got, I've already showed in a previous video, but... I just think it's so cool that I'm going to show it again in this one. It's the 1989 Donruss Deion Sanders Topps Rookie Card. I mean, in the SCG slab, it just looks awesome. And that's pretty cool. The second one I got that's graded is a 1959 Topps Alex Cares. He was a defensive tackle for my Detroit Lions back in the 50s and 60s. Other people might know him as Webster's dad on the TV show Webster, and then some people might know him just as Mongo from the Mel Brooks comedy Blazing Saddles. It's a pretty good looking card, and this is a rookie card, and it's 1950. I wish the back wasn't scratched off, but that's still a nice looking three. Let me see if I can get the corner better there. Oh, yeah. You can't go wrong with the Detroit Lions. Okay, now, the next batch in the group, the next cards in the group, batch, whatever, you know, the next cards coming up are cards from Joe and his girlfriend that used to be her father's cards, and they gave to me. Now, the first one is a 1974, whoa, O.J. Simpson All-Pro running back card the Buffalo Bills. That's a pretty good looking card. Here's the back. A lot of the cards in the collection that he gave were a little roughed up here and there, but I was able to save quite a few good ones, mainly the football cards, which is pretty awesome. I've just recently started getting into more football cards, so this helps out a lot. Again, thanks, Joe. Up next are two of the original number 20 for the Detroit Lions, cornerback Lim Barney. Awesome player and played for an awesome team. And here's the backs. Again, this is a 1974. And this one is a 1972 Lim Barney little wrinkle right there but still great looking card corners are nice and sharp just one little wrinkle but that's just character to me then there's the back up next is a 1972 tops gail sayers one of the greatest running backs that never got to be one of the greatest running backs guess we could say it like that still it's a great card by a great player even though he's a Bears player up next is a 1972 John Riggins rookie card you couldn't ask for a tougher running back back in the day here's the back see Gale Sayers is so good he's mentioned on John Riggins rookie card up next is a couple more cards from the Bears, specifically one of the greatest uh, linebackers of all time, Dick Butkus. There he is doing the swim move, about ready to put the hurt on somebody, hopefully not a Lions quarterback. And there's the back. Up next is also the 1974 regular issue, Dick Buckus. There's the back. And then a couple of cards from one of the uh, cornerstones of the Steelers Steel Curtain defense, L.C. Greenwood, defensive end. There's the back. Now, I don't know the year of this one because I'm not too familiar with these uh, football cards, but I'm working on it. 
I'm going to assume this one is an L.C. Greenwood from 1970, tops. Could be wrong. Let me know in the comments. That'd be great. Now, the last couple of cards in the collection that Joe gave me, I'd like to call the TV star football players. The first one would be John Matuzak. Many might know him as the Raiders. Uh, all great, all great player, uh, defensive tackle for their championship teams in the '70s and early '80s. But many people don't know is he was in the movie Goonies and he played. Uh, I can't believe the name is forgetting me now. Sloth. He played Sloth in the Goonies. John Matuzak. The next one is Broadway Joe. He's more of a celebrity than anything else with his pantyhose commercials and his fur coats and cigars on the sideline. He's a Hall of Famer, but is he a Hall of Famer? He did have charisma, so I'll give him that. And he did come through in the Super Bowl, so he's got that going for him, too. Here's the back. It's a 1972 Tops. Broadway Joe. Next up is another 1974 Rams defensive tackle, Merlin Olson. He was a fierce tackler and uh, all around great player, Hall of Famer. And he was also on, uh, he had a star, not a starring role, but he was a, he had a minor role in the Little House on the Prairie TV series with about, you know, written by Laura Ingalls Wilder and with uh, Charles Landon as uh, Mr. Ingalls. He was Mr. Ingalls' friend. Not the uh, bearded heavy guy, crazy guy, but the other one. I think his name was Jonathan in the show. I'm not for sure. Here's the back. Up next is a little obscure... Ed Marinaro, uh, semi-good player, decent enough, running back for the Vikings, but he uh, is mainly known for being a police officer in the TV show Hill Street Blues back in the early 80s. He did a good part. It was a good, good show. And here's the back of this card. And the last but not least is... I don't know what year this is, but I believe it's Fred Dwyer's rookie card, defensive end for the Rams. If you don't know him from his playing days for the Rams, you might know him as uh, the TV star on the show Hunter, the detective show. Yeah, he was Hunter. Pretty crazy, huh? Here's the back. A little gum stain there, but that's fine. That's fine. Still a great looking card. I like it. Well, that's all I have for today in the uh, small football collection that I do have. Uh, I appreciate you watching, and uh, hopefully if you like it, you'll subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Leave some comments if you want. Tell me how good I am or how horrible I am. Uh, just give me the attention I need. Again, thanks, guys, and thanks, Joe Runkle, for the cards. Thanks.